I'm originally from Iran. Who did you vote for in the last election? Obama. Iran, as far as Americans are concerned, want to wipe Israel off the map. Do you want to see Israel wiped off the map? No, not definitely, not at all. Do you believe that Iranian citizens are, hate America? No, not at all. If you were to go back to Iran right now, tomorrow, what would happen to you physically? Executed, definitely. Welcome back. I'm Dennis Michael Lynch filling in for Steve today. With me is Dick Morris, political consultant, Newsmax contributor, and author of Power Grab, Obama's dangerous plan for a one-party nation. Dick, thanks for being with me. Great to see you today. That woman wasn't very evasive, was she? <laughs> no. Uh, Dick, you know, uh, we were in the streets today. There was this Iran protest, and everybody there was Iranian, Iranian-American. And I was blown away by uh, everybody that was there said they had voted for Obama and they regretted it and that they were all going to vote Republican. And uh, some of them said Trump. Other people said they didn't know because they didn't take a deep look at uh, who would be the best president on the GOP side to stop the Iran deal. I'm turning it over to you. Who is best for America when it comes to this? Well, I think the answer to that is given by the candidates themselves. Uh, Cruz and Trump said they would rip up the agreement the minute they took office. Uh, Kasich uh, said he would not. I don't recall what Fiorina said. Uh, so obviously you have to go by that. But let me say that Iran is going to be one of the two key issues in the election. It's an issue the Democrats cannot win and from which they cannot escape. Uh, it would have been okay if it weren't for the side deal that lets Iran self-inspect. And the Republicans will turn this into a referendum on whether or not you trust Iran. And we know how that's going to come out. What's the second issue? Obamacare. Uh, I think that uh, the big mistake in 2012 was that we nominated Romney, who could not raise Obamacare as an issue because of the program he passed in Massachusetts. But now I think we have complete freedom to raise it, and I think we'll do very well with that issue as well. I'm a little surprised to hear this from you. Uh, you know, not only did we make a movie called Power Grab after your book, I mean, which a lot of it we talked about immigration, but I mean, when you look at Trump's numbers, he has basically skyrocketed because of his take on illegal immigration. So you don't think that that's one of the top issues, or should we throw that in there as a third? I, uh, a third, but I think it's, uh, well, it's the top issue in the Republican primary. Uh, in the general election, I think you'd want to broaden the range of issues. Speaking of Trump, he came out with a tweet today that says he is now officially no longer uh, going to appear on Fox News. Is that what he said? Well, he and I have something in common then. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, it is what I gather he said. Look, let me say it bluntly, and it hadn't been said before on TV, but I'm going to say it. Fox News is in the tank for Bush. Uh, Roger Ailes, the head of Fox News, uh, was Bush's main media guy and main strategist. I first met Roger in 1988 when he and I worked together on Bush 41's campaign and worked on the negative ads that sank Dukakis. And uh, the Bush family has always uh, been intimate with Fox News and they are protecting Jeb Bush. And that's why Megyn Kelly unloaded on Donald Trump. She never would have done that if she hadn't gotten encouragement from, from upstairs. And uh, they, that's why Trump is correct for not going on there. They're a setup for Bush. And as soon as conservatives around the country realize that, which they will as they listen to the biased coverage, um, the better. Dick. <laughs> Donald Trump loves the camera, and Fox News reaches a bigger audience than all of the other cable news put together. Are you really telling, do you really believe he's going to hold to his guns on this? Well, Donald Trump is a camera magnet, and anybody that doesn't cover Trump isn't going to get viewers and isn't going to get ratings. So Fox will have to continue to cover Trump. What I think Donald is saying is that he's not going to go on Fox News as a guest which is going to lower the ratings of O'Reilly and Hannity and uh, Megyn Kelly and all of those shows, and I think they'll feel it. Again, do you think he's going to hold to his guns? I can't see it. I cannot so, see it. Other than the fact that he always does, I don't know why. <laughs> let's, let's move for a second. You know what? I want to put in Carly Fiorina before uh, I ask you about the Pope. With Carly Fiorina, I read something you wrote the other day about how it is that you think that Carly's uh, business career is going to come back and bite her. Yeah, I think that uh, she's another Romney. Uh, no Republican, including me, 
saw anything wrong with what Mitt Romney did at Bain Capital. In fact, I thought it was commendable. He saved companies, and sometimes to do that, you have to do layoffs and you have to outsource. But you save the company and you save most of the jobs in the U.S. But voters don't understand that. And it was very clear from the Obama negatives that destroyed Romney that they don't. And you look back at Carly's past. When she ran against Barbara Boxer for Senate in California in 2010, uh, she was tied with Boxer four weeks out, according to Real Clear Politics. Then Boxer put a negative ad on, saying that she had cut thir- laid off 30,000 people at HP. Uh, they put her on, saying when you do massive layoffs like we did, um, perhaps you need to go elsewhere to get the work done. And then they said she outsourced jobs. And that while Carly was outsourcing jobs to China, Hewlett Packard tripled her salary, bought her a $1 million yacht and five corporate jets. And then they have Carly on saying, I'm proud of my record at HP. You're not going to survive that in a general election, and the Republicans should nominate someone who can be hit like that, fair or unfair. You know, Dick, uh, before I got into media, I had a I had a business, a computer business, and I had hired some of the top brass who left there. And, you know, they had told me straight out that, you know, working under uh, under her was just a nightmare. I think that's all going to come back too. I got only 15 seconds uh, real quick on the Pope. Good thing or does it hurt the GOP every time we see President Obama standing next to the Pope? I got 10 seconds. I think it hurts the GOP, but it helps the human race. <laughs> and I think the Pope is just glorious, and I'm so glad that he's in the United States. All right, I Dick, Dick I got to I got to cut it short. It was great seeing you. Thank you very much. Up next, the Marsboro pa- Marsburg panel.